problem 13.7, by the way, problem 13.6, uh, I'll leave it to you, it's more or less the same with problem 13.5, but the only difference is uh, it's a percentage, percent, uh, percent amount of iron is, uh, is uh, required, so it is a combination of the titration process and gravimetry. So all you have to do is just get the amount of iron, and or magnetite and divide by the sample. That's it. The, more or less the same with gravimetric analysis, but the process is uh, tetrimetric. So that is tetrimetric gravimetry. Okay, 13.7. We are given here 100 ml of sample of brackish water. So when we say brackish water, it's a uh, soap water. But the salinity of a brackish water is less than the salinity of the salt water. So in this problem, the water, the brackish water, was made ammoniacal so that the, the sulfide content in it will be precipitated in the form of uh, sulfur sulfide. Now, <clears throat> It was being, and the sulfide it contained was being titrated with 0 0.0231 molar of sulfur nitrate, and the volume needed to, to precipitate out the, the sulfide is 16.47 in L. Okay, so we are going to calculate the concentration of the hydrogen sulfide present in the water and the unit of ppm, parts per million. Okay, so we are given, again for the given, the sample, the volume of the sample is 100 ml brackish water. So this sample contains a certain amount of the sulfide ion in the form of, we can determine it in the form of hydrogen sulfide. And it was, the precipitate actually is a uh, or the sulfide is being precipitated in the form of sulfur sulfide from the titrant sulfur nitrate with a concentration of 0 0.0231 molar with a volume of 16.47 in L. Now take note that the unit here for concentration is ppm. Now we have two definitions for ppm. One is, if you are given the concentration in terms of ppm, you can express it in terms of milligram per liter of the solution. Milligram of the solute per liter of the solution. Or, if you are going to determine the concentration in terms of ppm also, it is also expressed in terms of, same way, uh, mass concentration or weight over weight uh, percent concentration this is defined as grams of the solute in this case it is hydrogen sulfide divided by the grams of the solution if it is percentage times 100 if it is ppm times 10 to the 6 or that is times 1 million so our target here is we must be able to, to compute or determine the amount of the solute which is hydrogen sulfide in terms of uh, in grams. And the grams of the solution, take note, grams of solution, what is given is volume. So we have to convert this one, the 100 ml uh, volume of the solution, we should convert this one to grams using density. Density of water because it's uh, the content here is there is just a small amount of salt, small amount of sulfide, but in general it's uh, water. So we will use the density of the water which is 1 gram per ml. Okay. So, to solve for the amount of hydrogen sulfide, so we will make use of the titan sulfur nitrate with this concentration. So, we have to solve for the, for the number of moles of sulfur nitrate. And we are given the 
a unit equation of the reaction. We will use the stoichiometric relationship. So, compute first the moles of the titrant, which is sulfur nitrate, basing on its concentration given, 0 0.0231. So, this is moles per liter. You multiply it with the volume that is in ml, so we can convert it to liters. But you can use uh, ml, but this will be millimol. Okay, so that is 0 0.01647 liters. So therefore, the moles of sulfur nitrate is 0 0.0231 times 0.016 that is 3.8046 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of sulfur nitrate okay from here <coughs> from here using the Using stoichiometry, then you would be able to solve for the grams of so, uh, hydrogen sulfide. So I'll compute it directly. Grams of grams of hydrogen sulfide will be equal to from the moles of silver nitrate. You will have 3.8046 times 10 to the negative 4. This is moles of sulfur nitrate times. Take note that the equation given is ionic. So we have to get the ions from the compound. So if you have one mole of sulfur nitrate, so we'll be using the sulfur because that's the one involved in the ionic equation. There is only one mole of the sulfur ion. So you can cancel out moles of sulfur nitrate. Then you convert this one to, so the remaining unit is moles sulfur. You convert this one to uh, sulfide ion. So the relationship between sulfur ion and sulfide ion is 2 is to 1. So you have 1 mole of sulfide ion is to 2 moles of the sulfur ion. Cancel out the unit of moles sulfur ion. Then you change this one to, since the required is hydrogen sulfide, so you have here sulfide ion, so you get the relationship between the moles of hydrogen sulfide and moles of sulfide ion. So we we'll have it here as a numerator, one mole of hydrogen sulfide, how many sulfide ion is present, there is only one, so divide by one mole of sulfide ion. Ion. You can cancel out the unit of sulfide ion. Times, since we need to determine the number of grams, so you have to use the molar mass of hydrogen sulfide. But unfortunately, the, the molar mass of hydrogen sulfide is not given, so we have to solve it or determine it. So 1 mole of hydrogen sulfide is equivalent to... Hydrogen, of course, is 1. Sulfur is 32. So, more or less, that is um, around 30, 32 plus 2, 34. But we can actually search on that one. That is 34.081 grams of hydrogen sulfide. So this is the molar mass. So you can cancel out the moles of hydrogen sulfide. So from there, you can determine the grams of hydrogen sulfide. So you have 3.8046 exponent negative 4 times 34.081, nothing else, divide by 2. So we have 
3, 2. Times 10 to the negative 3, this is grams of hydrogen sulfide. So we already have the amount of the solute, grams solute. So we have this value, 0 0.00648. We need to know the amount of the solution in grams. What is given is in volume. So we need to use the density of the water. Because the solution here or the sample is brackish water. So we need, uh, we will use the density of the water. And we know that density of the water is 1 gram per ml. So we just compute the grams of sample. Which is uh, the solution, water solution is equal to 100 ml. You multiply this one with the density. 1 gram per ml. Density of water is 1 gram per ml. So again, this one is density of water. So this is just numerically the same. 100 grams of the sample. What is the sample? The solution that is the brackish water. So therefore, the concentration in ppm will be equal to, use this our working equation, mass of our solute is 6.48 times 10 to the negative 3, that is grams, divided by the amount of our sample or the water solution or the brackish water that is 100 grams then you multiply this by 1 million or 10 to the 6 if that is percentage times 100 since ppm so multiply it by 1 million 6.4832 divide by 100 multiply it by 1 million so the amount of hydrogen sulfide in the sample is 64.83 ppm, parts per million. So meaning, you have 64.83 milligram of hydrogen sulfide present for every 1 liter of our water sample. So that's problem 13.7.